Hello everyone. Many of you are probably now familiar with the trip reports feature on eBird. The screen you see in front of you is the trip reports screen. My trip reports where you'll get, a, get all of your trip reports. You can also create a trip report by clicking on trip reports. You can go to this page through my eBird. We all use trip reports now as a tool to be able to aggregate and summarize our personal birding trips. But this feature can also be used to aggregate and summarize formal bird surveys. However, there is no direct way to download the list of species from a trip report. And this is often important for a formal bird survey. So how can you do this? There are some wonderful tools available on www.faintlake.com that allow you to do exactly this. So to be able to download an aggregated summary of your trip report or just the list of species on your trip report, you will need to install a browser extension. So I will open this in a new tab. And here you have three browser extensions for eBird. The first one allows you to download your KML uh, from uh, your tracks that come on an eBird checklist. And then the third one here is a Drip Checklist Exporter. So click on Drip Checklist Exporter. And then you have an option that links to various browser extensions. So click on Link to Firefox extension, which is uh, the extension for me. I'll open that in a new tab. And I will add this ex extension to Firefox. But, but before I do that, let me go back to my trip reports and choose a trip report. I will choose October big day 2020. Open this in a new tab. And here in the edit option, these are the options I get. Now let me go to this page again, add this to Firefox, add, click on okay here. And now when I go to my trip report, there is an additional option. You see, copy checklist URLs at the bottom. So I will click on this. So now, once you have copied all checklist URLs, what to do next? Go back to the trip, trip checklist exporter tab. And you see an option here that is the eBird checklist compiler. Now what you can do is after you get this list of URLs, you can load it into this eBird checklist compiler, which I will open in a new tab here. And paste this list of uh, URLs. Now in the download, if I want to include scientific names, I can include scientific names. I'll check that box and then I will click on go. So now it's fetching checklist from eBird. And uh, once all of these checklists have been aggregated, I will be given something in the form of an Excel. So let's just wait. So you see that one checklist here, 74964184, has no observations. So that was a zero species checklist. So do not worry about this. We can look for this particular checklist. So let me look for 4184. And I will remove this checklist. And again, click on go. Although this time I did not check the include scientific names box. So now I will get an Excel. So I will save the file, click on this, and I get a lovely summary of my entire trip. So October big day, these are all the species I saw, and uh, the columns are the checklists. So I get the numbers as well. And you see some links, uh, some, um, numbers with which are in blue that are hyperlinked so if you click on them you go to the next tab in the 
uh, Excel file, which are comments. So you can see uh, what comments have been entered for against these uh, observations. So you have two sheets here, checklist and comments. And uh, this is an easy way for you to be able to download all the information from a trip report into an Excel.